Hey there, YouTubers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if this helps a little. Aha. Hey there, YouTubers. I just plugged in my handy dandy ring light, the one that I made myself. Um, if you want to catch the video on how I made that ring light, you can catch it on the link right there. It enhances um. the brightness of the video. So, I have a package in my hand. And I'm so excited. I waited like about a month. I waited about four weeks to finally get this in the mail, so I'm going to open it here on camera and I hope that everything is intact and everything is good. This is, because you guys, as you know, I am into magnetic lashes and so these are the magnetic lashes that I have been waiting for for the whole month. I ordered two, so two just came in this wonderful package. I ordered this from Instagram. Not everything you order on Instagram is what it's supposed to be. So you just gotta be careful with, with what you ordered. This I kinda took a try. I got my lashes. Them. They look natural. Got my mirror. Okay, so the difference between these lashes here as to why I paid $12 for each of them and then I paid $6 for shipping and waited a month. The difference between these lashes and my original Snapple lash that I ordered from Instagram prior to, to this and um, that I did a video on and you can catch a link on that video right over here. The one from my previous vid video and only had three magnets, so it kind of was a little more f on the flimsy side. This set of lashes, you can see it has one, two, three, four, five magnets. And that's why, and that's why I was convinced to give them a shot and because they look natural. I don't I don't want the the ones that are too extravagant and are clearly unreal. This holster, this holster is pretty neat. Um but it's not magnetic. The one that I got from Snapalash was magnetic. Okay. So this is the holster right here from Snapalash. And then this is the one from Zyra Labs. And I'm going to put a, um, how to spell that in the description box below. Because I got it from Zyra Labs. And she puts five magnets on hers, which should hold a lot better and be a, little, a lot more secure. And so this holster here, this part of it is magnetic. This holster here, there's a plastic piece inside, but let me see if... If it's magnetic and that should mean that the eyelashes should stick to it and they don't so they don't so it's not magnetic I definitely prefer the magnetic holster there you have it you see that So it just stays in place and I like that feature because then if you're putting it in, in here to um, take it somewhere and carrying it around, it's not going to move around. So that's a plus. I'm going to toss out these old lashes that I got from somewhere on Amazon and they were the worst. So now I'm getting my liner. So what I'm going to do here is apply. See if we can get a little closer. See if we can get a little closer. Dang it. Got a 
I got a little too much right there. I don't want it to go that high. Whenever I use liquid liners, it's like you have to have such a steady hand. I'm going to correct. Now we're going to apply the lashes. And that is it. Like, I just put the magnets into place. Oh, let me put this one on. That scared me. I, I mixed the old lashes with these and oh my god, I was scared because I was like, oh my gosh, the magnets are backwards, but that was my last set from Amazon. So I don't trust to order any magnetic lashes on Amazon again, unless it specifically says that it's from Snapple Lash or Zyra Labs. I'm reapplying some liner. Okay. So now let's try this again. The thing is that you know my eyelashes curl, so I'm trying to get it over it. I did it, I did it, I did it. Woohoo! Now, mascara. Ultimate all in one mascara, black. having an animal cracker break but I apply my mascara and what do I think I can clearly see why women wear glue on their eyelashes because with the glue you're pretty much guaranteed that it is not going to move, it is not going to shift, it's going to stay put. With the magnets, it can definitely shift. It can shift and when you're putting on a mascara it can definitely shift and that's where I had some issues is I had to um, kind of fix it as I was putting on the mascara. So, but ultimately, overall, I mean, I like them. They enhance my look. So, they're keepers. These are not too bad. These are not bad at all, so I'm okay with it. I like it. I think I could rock these. And so next I'm going to do my hair. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you want to catch my hair video, you catch it on the link right over here. Thank you guys. Much love.